All right, y'all, I'm at the Common Arms channel. Okay, so today we're doing the 500,000 subscriber update video. Now, I did like a post a little bit ago, but I wanted to make sure I did a video to kind of do like an update since I haven't done an update video in a minute. So I wanted to do another one, kind of get y'all spun up on everything that's been kind of going on with me in my life and also just kind of um, where the channel is going to be going um, in the near future, which is pretty much going to be the same. There's no real major updates with the channel. Um, no real major updates with the short channel. Just kind of doing this video so I can, I guess, talk more personally to y'all since I don't really get a whole lot of time to do it in the normal videos. But yeah, 500,000 subscribers is super trippy. Again, like half a million people stick around joining this community. Um, a lot of y'all were kind of pointing out saying that's more people than a lot of countries military have, which is, uh, I guess, even more funny to think about it that way. Um, hopefully we don't need to like mobilize at any point and go fight some specific country. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to think that there's that many people all over the world kind of tuning in to, to basically meet talking into a camera and us, us checking out some, some cool stuff. Of course, I'm not like the main focus in a lot of the videos that I do. It's mostly the stuff that we're checking out, but I do appreciate you guys sending that stuff my way. Cause again, it gives me a good indication of what y'all are interested in. And, you know, since I started doing the reaction videos, well, maybe like five years ago, um, the channel is 16 years old, but I only really started doing the reaction videos in, I think, 2019, maybe 2020 is really where it kind of started kicking off. Um, but since I've been doing that, of course, the video quality and stuff has changed a little bit as far as, you know, the camera is a little bit better now. Hopefully the mic is better as well. Um, so things have kind of like progressed in, in that sense, but also in just in the community, having a bigger community, having more people kind of chiming in on, on what we should be checking out um, and what is kind of interesting and what's kind of popping in the world right now. Cause it's not always kind of just, you know, checking out this cool military unit. Of course, that's always fun to check out, but there's a lot of things happening. Of course, a lot of things have happened in the last few years, whether it be COVID or the war in Ukraine, um, of course, everything happening in Israel right now. There's been a lot of things happening. Um, so it's kind of interesting to kind of see what y'all think about all of these major events as well. So it's kind of it's kind of cool to have a community to be able to kind of talk about all that stuff together and check out some stuff kind of around it. But as far as major updates for me, so yeah, again, you can kind of see this is a new new-ish studio. Been here for a few months now. I'm gonna do another kind of like tour of this space because some things might have been, there's a few things that have been added, but not not a whole lot. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the YouTube studio for the time being. I don't know um, when it might change. Of course, I'll give you guys an update or you might just kind of randomly see it's different at, at some point, but I'm not expecting it to change anytime soon. So, and you know, of course that's nice. So I don't have to be moving all this stuff around and having to set it back up again because uh, it's a struggle. <laughs> now from April to May, I'm going to be going to some military training. So the the uploads are going to be a little bit more infrequent, um, if that's the right word. Uh, maybe like one video a week right now is kind of what I'm trying to, to work out. I need to see how much I've recorded so far and then I need to see how much I can actually edit and then kind of schedule. So whenever I'm gone, you know, there'll still be some videos coming out in the meantime. Um, but yeah, the, the video frequency is going to come down a little bit and I'll kind of give you guys an update on that training whenever I do get back from that. Um, so I'll, I'll give you an update sometime in June, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. It's going to be a kind of a big thing to um, talk about after the fact. As of right now, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with my orders as far as, you know, when I'm going to be moving, but it's, the plan right now is to just kind of, you know, expect to stay in Washington. Um, so as far as like the shorts channel, that is still pretty much going to be there. It's going to be me recording stuff. As long as I still have the, the space to do that recording. Of course, if I do go somewhere else at some point, um, I need to kind of figure out where I can record a lot of that silly stuff because you do need certain amount of privacy. You need a certain amount of kind of space to do all that stuff. And of course, if I move to a state where I can't have the same amount of you know guns or there's restrictions or whatnot, obviously that's going to change things as well. But as of right now, um, and you know, Washington gun laws also might change. So I guess we'll kind of see. But as of right now, that's not expected to change. Um, so I do have a lot of funny shorts that I've already recorded that haven't come out yet. And I have 
some more ideas for some interesting ones in the future. You guys might have seen on my Instagram, I posted, you know, me and like a, a Mario and Luigi get up. So yeah, I have a few ideas with that. And if you guys want to go and check out the short channel, definitely feel free. It is, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's definitely like a creative outlet, kind of what I originally started doing when I created my YouTube channel back in 2008. It's kind of a lot like that, except now I have, you know, more, I have actual guns and I have, um, you know, adult money so I can kind of finance that a little bit better. But yeah, there's a lot of fun things. So if you guys want to go over there, recommend some ideas, um, especially kind of stuff based on video games is always really fun to do, kind of mixing video games and just guns and just, I don't know, finding a way to, to make a short out of that is always really entertaining. So the short channel, um, as of right now, definitely going to be sticking around and it's just, it's a lot of fun to do. I got to say, it's definitely a different thing from the reaction videos, which are a little bit more chill, kind of more, you know, community oriented, allowing everybody to kind of discuss certain things. The short channel is just me basically being goofy um, for the sake of being goofy and kind of like, again, that fun, creative outlet. Um, but yeah, as far as other updates, if you guys have any questions, you can throw it down below. But yeah, I'm still um, still in intelligence. Uh, I've been in the in the military about 12 years now. So I am kind of stuck. I've already uh, re-enlisted to the point where I can't I can't get out unless I'm retiring. So um, I, I'm about to be in for about 12 years. And then I'm going to be going to 20 years, which is generally when you can start dropping your retirement packet. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see what that looks like. But that is in eight years. Um, so a lot of things can happen and will happen in between. So I'm not, you know, I'm not jumping the gun there. I will take everything in stride and take it um, one step at a time. But yeah, I've been in for 12 years now in the Marine Corps and Army. So um, pretty interesting military career so far. I, it's really kind of getting hard to predict. You'd think it'd be getting easier to predict kind of what's what you're going to be doing next or what assignment you're going to have. But, you know, there's really no telling. There's a lot of opportunities. So I'll just kind of keep you guys generally in the loop of all that as it's kind of happening um, or if something changes, kind of what that what that's looking like. Um, but yeah, right now the schedule is great and allows for me to do all this YouTube stuff um, and keep it to, right now I'm doing one video every three days. So video, two days with no video and then video. That's what I'm trying to do. Sometimes I miss it a little bit, but that's the schedule that I'm trying to keep to. Um, again, except for, you know, in the next few weeks, uh, it's gonna be a little bit slower. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know, but before, we close up the video. I want to give you guys uh, a tour of the of the office space. I don't really know what to call it, but let's do this. Okay, so we got the kind of POW flag just in the window there. Some of the sound panels. Again, it's it's not too bad in here. It's not too echoey, but um, these help a little bit. Uh, I mean, the carpet in general helps a lot, and all the kind of stuff in the room helps in general. Okay, patch wall. Um, yeah, this has grown <laughs> pretty significantly. I'm actually filling up these two panels pretty quick. Um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff sent to me. This is some more recent stuff that was sent to me. Um, yeah, I got some military intelligence stuff, which is really cool. Some stuff that people have kind of sent me for their companies and whatnot. This was one that was sent to me or that was give, given to me. Uh, by someone who recognized me when I was doing some training support. Um, so yeah, a lot of really, really cool patches. The patch wall is just awesome. It's like super colorful and stuff too now. Got the play button. We're at 500,000, so hopefully we can double that and get the, the gold one. <laughs> um, we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't take another 16 years, but um, if it does, I, I'm, you know, I'm hoping to be doing YouTube that long still. I have a Lego CH-53 here. You know, because why not? This is the same helicopter that I had my Hilo crash in, but I saw a Lego version of it, and I'm like, no, that's actually kind of dope. This thing took way too long to build, though, so um, kind of got some Lego PTSD there. Got some stuff. This is, again, sent to me from War Trace Workshop. Got some, you know, Legos in that as well. More background stuff. Um, yeah, this hasn't really changed too much I've 
kind of just added to it and expanded a little bit, but that's basically the background stuff there. Still have the York Yorkshire T sign. Um, this given to me from a uh, bootneck gamer um, or uh, Leon. If you guys want to check out his channel over here, I got some belts that are just hanging up. Um, big fan of gun belts. Some video prop stuff, and then some artwork kind of here over here as well and then this is this setup so I got the lights I got the monitors I actually have a video that's rendering right there and then PC set up with you know the RGBs pretty cool I built this PC from scratch um, I, I don't know if that's the right term but yeah I built this PC using all the the different components which I was really surprised and kind of happy that it turned on and booted and you know worked. Basically without me having to mess with it, um, I was gonna say a rude word, but I'll keep it um, kind of PC for the <laughs> for this video so I'm not just cursing and getting demonetized too much. But uh, yeah, I watched Linus Tech Tips, old school YouTuber, um, and that's kind of how I was able to build that successfully. But yeah, so 500,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh, I made the channel since 2008. So I was 14 years old. Um, I'm going to be 30 years old. The, the big 3 0, as they say, I guess. Uh, I'm going to be 30 years old in a couple months. So, yeah, um, 16 years. I've been doing YouTube longer than I haven't been doing YouTube at this point, which is pretty cool to say. Um, yeah, again, YouTube is just it's a huge passion of mine. Um, never going to be. Never gonna get tired of it, really. Uh, so, it's kind of just where I'm at right now. How busy work is. If I need to go, you know, travel or you know, do work-related stuff abroad, and that's gonna affect the schedule. Where I'm located geographically, it might affect some of the short stuff. But for the most part, you know, I try and do as much as I can. And I just, I really appreciate you guys kind of being there to support me the entire way. It's been like extremely encouraging to see all the comments, see all the support there, see all the support on Instagram. Um, yeah, just a lot of really cool comments from people just in all walks of life. It's just super trippy to think that there's people, and I've been recognized by people in different countries. I've been recognized all over when I'm just like kind of out and about here in Washington, um, which is not something I ever thought would happen from YouTube or I, you know, in general, I guess, uh, especially when I was 14. So. Yeah, you guys have kind of given that to me, and that's really special. So again, it's kind of something that um, I don't take lightly. It's something that I, I kind of feel that responsibility. I need to, um, I, I love doing YouTube. I will kind of just do it even if I'm getting like one view per video, but especially when there's this many people kind of tuning in, um, it, it's kind of on me to be able to provide stuff for y'all. And at least, you know, kind of listen to what y'all want me to check out uh, and what y'all are saying because the second that I kind of just stop, not necessarily stop caring what people think, because again, I'll do YouTube regardless, but if I don't have any kind of aspirations to um, maintain a certain quality or get better or listen to what y'all, as far as as far as far what y'all are recommending, uh, it, you know, if I'm just ignoring that, then it's kind of me falling out of touch. And that's not something that you know, I'm going to feel comfortable doing. Um, it's not something that I plan to do, so. Um, yeah, it's not something that I take lightly as far as what y'all are saying and the kind of community involvement that we have here. But this camera is getting heavy, so I'm going to close out the video. Um, yeah, just again, big, big thank you to all of y'all who have been here, who have been here since 499,000 subscribers or who have been here since like, you know, 10,000 subscribers. Somebody actually told me that and I was mind blown because when I had 10,000 subscribers, I wasn't really doing anything that cool on my YouTube. That's what I thought at least. Um, but yeah, you guys have kind of seen some exposure to some of my older videos. Um, and I'm just glad that YouTube has kind of moved into a certain direction <laughs> to kind of keep me out of that, except for the short channel, to be honest. But thank you guys again for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. You know, I, I try to avoid certain things on the, on the YouTube, uh, not to kind of just polarize um, anybody or exclude anybody or make anybody just feel like yeah, a certain type of way but yeah I think the community is it's shaped up just um, amazingly I, I really don't know how better to say it there's, there's better words for it but 
yeah, the, the community is is awesome. I'm really, really proud of it. I'm really proud of it, how open-minded it is and how people can just openly discuss things. And if I don't understand something, I'm not like immediately thrown into the fire. So I do appreciate you guys kind of being open-minded with me, patient with me as I uh, check out certain things. I'm not necessarily, I don't have, you know, the right exposure um, or I don't have that much exposure to it yet. But I appreciate you guys kind of um, educating me on everything so I can kind of understand it a little bit better um, and understand why people are so passionate about s certain things. Um, and I think understanding other people's passions is a really cool thing to be able to do. But hopefully um, you guys are enjoying the videos. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the channel. And yeah, hopefully we can uh, get to 1 million because I never thought I'd get that thing hanging up on my wall. But here we are uh, at half a million. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the future. So thank you guys for being a part of this journey with me. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. But that is it for this update video. I'll see y'all in the next one.